In this video, we will be discussing about the lysosomal metabolism of GM2 gangliosides and working of hexosaminidase A enzyme. The metabolism of GM2 gangliosides is driven in lysosomes. And if we see the structure of GM2 gangliosides, it's sialic acid containing glycosphingolipid. So basically, it's a lipid molecule. And this metabolism is driven by hexosaminidase A enzyme. This enzyme is involved in hydrolysis of GM2 to GM3. If we see the structure of hexosaminidase A enzyme, it's actually a one part of hexosaminidase enzyme. First, we have the hexosaminidase alpha subunit as shown in the diagram, which makes us the hexosaminidase A enzyme. And then we have the hexosaminidase beta subunit, which makes us the hexosaminidase B enzyme. And together, this enzyme is known as hexosaminidase enzyme. But here we are more concerned with the hexosaminidase A enzyme, which drives GM2 metabolism. In this diagram, we can see the GM2 activator binding site on hexosaminidase A enzyme. And on the left, we have the GM2 binding site where the lipid molecule binds. Now, first of all, let's see the metabolic reactions of GM2 gangliosides. Here we have the GM2 ganglioside molecular structure having ceramide tail bound to glucose, galactose, galnec, and on the side we have the nana which is an acetyl neuraminic acid. And in this diagram we can see the diagrammatic structure of GM2 ganglioside analogs to molecular structure. And in the metabolic reaction this GM2 is acted upon by hexosaminidase A enzyme and removes galnec from it and we get the GM3 ganglioside same as GM2 but lacking galnec as shown in the diagram. And now let's see how this is done on a molecular level by molecules within the cell. Here we have the cell membrane which has got GM2 gangliosides embedded on the intracellular side shown in the diagram. And within the cell we have the lysosome which has got hexosaminidase enzyme in the form of heterodrimer that's alpha subunit and beta subunit referred as hex A and hex B. Now in this process, the first step is to extract the GM2 ganglioside from the cell membrane. And this is done by GM2 activator protein. It comes in and binds the GM2 ganglioside as shown in the diagram. The binding site of GM2 activator protein is present on the n acetyl neuraminic acid of GM2 ganglioside. From here, it extracts the GM2 ganglioside from membrane and delivers it to the hexosaminidase A enzyme within the lysosome. And then this GM2 ganglioside binds with the hex A, that's hexosaminidase A enzyme, as shown in the diagram. Now both proteins, that's hex A as well as GM2 activator protein, mediates the enzymatic reaction. The hex A cleaves the terminal n acetyl galactosamine from GM2 ganglioside, as shown in the diagram, and converts it into GM3 ganglioside. And then activator protein either delivers this GM3 molecule out of the lysosome for further use or keeps it there for further metabolism. So this way we get the lysosomal metabolism of GM2 gangliosides. And it must be noted here if the hexosaminidase A enzyme is absent due to mutation, we get Tay-Sachs disease by this way, which we are going to discuss in the next video. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up to consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.